Hello guys, this is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video. So today I'm going to show you about how to design the Photoshop in Adobe Photoshop for mobile UA design. Okay guys, so check it out. Okay, so open your Photoshop. This is my Photoshop and then go to File, New and then you can setting this for mobile and setting this one for uh, 500 XG and then OK after that I will create the photo shoot right here so I just need to create the background for photo we can create using the rectangle right here and you can setting to like this okay it's enough we can create the layer is uh, masking okay after that I have prepared some image right here and icons so I will open this photo to Photoshop And then I will drag into my document. Okay. And after that, I will create the clipping mesh. And then we need to zoom out and active the show transform control. And zoom out again. And press the shift key when you resize the photo. And then we zoom it, okay. Okay, like this, guys. And after that, I will put the icon right here, but I will select this layer and make it center. Okay, it's enough. So I have prepared the icons for this one for this project i have, I have preferred icon so this is for reverse camera and this is for lighting i will open in photoshop okay i will drag into my document and for lighting Okay, we remove we move the layer like this and resize the icon. Okay, it's enough. You can download the icon from flaticon.com. We will make it the position is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And this is for camera. We can move it for one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I know that the icon is not readable, so I need the the image right here, like a BG. But I'm going to drop shadow, and it's not working, so it's not good. But I will duplicate this layer. And give the name is overlay, okay. And then we can put it below uh, above of layer one, and create clipping mesh again. And then we can resize the overlay. We can resize it. And 
and then we can change the opacity to 50 okay but I need to resize again like this and we move the icon and then we can resize the icon resize again to be small okay and then we can group for the icon and give the name is icons and then we can select the background and make it to center and select the overlay and make it center okay like this case and after that i will create the icon for focus the photo okay so i will draw the icon uh, rectangle you can click right here and elix and create new layer and setting the fill color to disable and setting the stroke to white and give the stroke is 5 pixel okay let's redraw it like this this is for focus I will uh, decrease the pixel to 3 pixel uh, 4 pixel okay it's, it's enough and we make it center okay this is for focus focus the photo and maybe we can make it to center okay like this and setting the opacity to 50 to 70 okay like this this is for focus and then we can we can create the menu right here for uh, optional like a uh, library camera uh, or draft okay so i will create the text right here uh, below of ellipse one right it's loading So I will go to text tool and create here for camera and change the uh, font type to Roboto and change to medium and change the font size, font size to uh, 18 checklist okay and then we can make it center like this and then we can change the color to red I have prepared the color from Adobe Cooler so I will choose this one copy and then I will change the color to red okay like this after that I will duplicate this layer duplicate and we change the font size to 14 we change the label for draft checklist okay and then we can move like this and change the color we can double click here uh, it's like a transparency okay and then we can duplicate this layer and move like here 
and edit the text to library like this okay so the condition it's camera and then we can go to draft or library for this application okay guys so this is the basic uh, UI design for photo shoot and I hope you can understand about this tutorial uh, alright guys I hope you can understand about this tutorial and if you have any question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe my channel Angga Rizky in YouTube okay guys so see you the next tutorial